Na asante sana Chris Minotin wa Akiarifu kutoka kaunti ya Kisi. Kwa ngine kuna kwamba madhara ya mabadiliko ya tabia nchi yanatarajiwa kuathiri zaidi afya ya binadamu iwapo hakutakuwa na mikakati thabiti ya kukabiliana nayo. Haya ni kulingana na wanasayansi wanaoshikilia kuwa hatua zilizopigwa na serikali ya Kenya kupunguza maambukizi ya malaria, magonjwa ya maji na kuimarisha lishe bora ziko hatarini kutokana na changamoto za mabadiliko ya tabia nchi wakizungumza kwenye kongamano la pili la afya na mabadiliko ya tabia nchi lililoandaliwa na taasisi ya utafiti wa matibabu Kembri huko Kwale wataalamu wametaka hatua za dharura zikiwemo upandaji wa miti kuchukuliwa ili kukabiliana na hali iliyoko sasa issues of uh, the flooding causing issues like cholera we are now having issues of malaria uh, diseases that we were not even before really uh, which we had thought had actually gone away are now emerging because of the issues of climate change we are seeing the effects it is having on the nutrition of our people and it's having that nutrition the problem also is up is the issue of the health of the communities that we serve because our farmers used to farm knowing that this is when the long rains will come this is when the short rains will come but those things are no longer there so we have to reorganize ourselves and we have to depend on scientists to tell us the way forward and that is what we are doing and we need the scientists to work on this and the political uh, leadership to make sure that they implement what comes out of this tunaweza kuwa na mweleka umoja kama kama serikali kama mashirika ili tusaidie serikali kutatua haya mambo Uh, ya 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 tuseme ma, magonjwa uh, ya ile inayopatana na tabia nchi kile tunahitaji ni wa Kenya milioni hamsini kupanda miti 30 tu na hiyo yote tutaipanda kwa maka moja Naam, kwingine kuna kwamba idara ya kilimo katika kaunti ya Siaya kwa ushirikiano na wadau mbalimbali mbali katika sekta hiyo wame 